The world failed to meet the 2010 target to reduce the loss of biodiversity. The extinction crisis is deepening, and now is the time that we must try harder and do things differently to safeguard all life on Earth. In October, in Nagoya, Japan, up to 10,000 decision makers will meet to try to come up with a big plan to save the planet's biodiversity. At the 10th conference of the parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity, or CBD, they'll come up with a strategy to cover the next 10 years. As the world battles with economic recession, growing demands for a better quality of life from a growing population, the effects of climate change, and demands on the natural environment to meet all of our needs for water, clean air, food, energy, and materials. Well, with me is IUCN Director General Julia Martin Lefebvre to tell us more about what will be happening at the meeting in Nagoya. So, Julia, why is the meeting in Nagoya such an important event? Well, it is the tenth time that the parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity are meeting, and this is the International Year of Biodiversity. This meeting will take place toward the end of this, and it's really a unique opportunity to pay attention by everyone, not only the parties, but everyone in the world, about the importance of conserving biodiversity, of making sure that ecosystems are healthy, so that we, the people sharing this planet with them. Are also able to be healthy. So, what will IUCN be pushing for in Nagoya? Well, IUCN will be pushing for three specific big things. First of all, that all systems must be in place, and that governments and all stakeholders must be committed to stop the loss of biodiversity once and for all, with measurable and realistic targets. And we want the system to be in place by 2020. Only 10 years from now, we have a lot to do to achieve that. The second thing is, of course, we are very committed to making sure that this regime that has been talked about for years now, the so-called access and benefit sharing, must be adopted finally, and that governments and the parties of the CBD must be committed to making sure that the benefits of biodiversity are accessible to all people, but that the benefits must come back to the local communities. From where the biodiversity originates. Let's just give. I'll give you an example. Supposing that you、uh, represent a, a pharmaceutical firm and you find the rare flower in my garden, which is going to solve a, a health issue that you've been looking for for years. I'm glad to have you benefit from that flower, but of course, and so you have access to it. But I also, my community. Uh, my garden, but my community needs to share in the benefits that you will make from selling the products of that flower. That's very simply put, but it's a question of equity. You cannot go in and take biodiversity from com- communities that have been taking care of it, and just have others、uh, reap the benefits and not the community. So this is a, a, a really a question of equity. It's been debated on for years. It's got to happen. The third thing that IUCN really wants to make sure. Will happen in Nagoya and afterwards, and that and that is that governments not only talk about the importance of halting the loss of biodiversity, but that they would be willing to pay for it. So the financing systems for this must be in place. Julie Martin Lefebvre, thank you very much.